The last thing that I would like to talk about is how, how to export uh, the charts that we create. Let me just get rid of the subdivision that, that I created to go back uh, to the original scatter plot. If you click on X over here, it should take you back uh, to the original scatter plot. But anyway, um, so how to export any chart that you create uh, in Insight and then how to bring it, for example, to a software tool like Adobe Illustrator for further styling in case that you don't like the style that Insight uh, uses, you want to change colors or fonts, etc. How to do that in a software tool like Adobe Illustrator? Well, uh, you will need to export the, uh, the file, you will need to export the chart either as an SVG or as a PDF, okay? So in order to do that, remember that I explained that in a, in a prior video that I usually generate my charts either using R or a software like Insight, and then I open them up in Adobe Illustrator for, to change colors and backgrounds, etc. So this is one of, the, one of the charts that I showed you before at the beginning of these lectures. So how to do that in Insight? Well, there is an option here that lets you detach the chart from the, from the window. So if you click on these little a folded paper icon over here, the chart that you have on the screen right now will appear as a pop-up window. And that pop-up window, there is a, it has a file, save, a menu option that will let you save the file as a, as a PDF. So if you click on that, actually it's probably appearing in the background. It's only that I'm not seeing it. Uh, there you go. It's actually, it was showing it to me in the background. Let me just close those windows and do, click on that icon again. So I'm going to click on these, on this little paper folder icon, and there you go. Now, if you don't see it, by the way, this is the reason why I was not seeing it, because the R console, it's behind the inside window, okay? And, and what it does, when you click on this icon, what happens is that the, uh, the detached chart appears in the R console. And if it, the R console is for some reason behind the inside window, you will not see the chart. Well, if I click on that now, it will, it will pop up in front of me. So this is the chart that I have created. So once you have the chart, you just go and this pop-up window, you can go to the file menu, save as, and this is a PDF document that you can save as, for example, as rplot or one rplot, save. And that will be saved as a, as a PDF document in your, full, in your desktop. And then I can go to Illustrator and click on Command Open, and then just find the file that I, that I have created, rplot, click on Open, and this, is a, this will be the file that I have created and it's completely editable. I can select, you know, this item and change the color of that, of that line of text uh, and change the size of the font or change the style of the font. Let me use Comic Sans just to troll my graphic design colleagues. We all hate Comic Sans, so I'm going to change this to Comic Sans and I like to be evil. And I'm going to put this here and you can change, you know, you can change this any, any way you want. You can just get rid of lines. You can clean the, clean the chart up a little bit if you don't want all those lines or all those tick marks. You can just erase them. Now, I'm not going to explain how to style charts in Illustrator a, a, a further. I'm just going to just let you know that you can do this in Illustrator by following the, uh, what I did just a second ago. Uh, I will probably record a very short lecture on how to style R and inside charts with Adobe Illustrator later on. Uh, if you want to learn how to do that right away, what you could do is to go to my website and go to the tutorials resources page, uh, as I showed you before. There is a link to an Illustrator video tutorial over here that I, I mentioned in one of the uh, videos before. Now, if you click on that, what will happen is that this will take you to the page of a product that I created a while ago. It's a 12-hour video tutorial on how to use Adobe Illustrator for infographics and charts and maps, etc. It has nine lessons, it's very, very long, and unfortunately, it is not free. You will need to pay for it. You can either buy, buy the DVD or to get a, a subscription to Creative Edge, which is a website for a month, it's not that expensive, and then you can, you can watch this video. Now, uh, if you don't want to pay for it, or if you don't need to learn all this stuff, right, because Illustrator is a very deep program, and I explain in this, in this DVD, I explain everything that I know about Illustrator. So it's quite, it's a, I have been using that tool for almost 20 years, so it's quite a, a bit of stuff. If you don't want to learn all that stuff, and the only thing that you want to learn is how to style that damn chart 
in Adobe Illustrator. Well, wait for the release of the next tutorial. I'm going to record a free video tutorial in the future and I will put it over here, like how to style our charts in Adobe Illustrator with Adobe Illustrator. And I will put the link in the tutorials and resources page later on, okay? Well, thank you for watching. I hope that you had a lot of fun and that this tutorial was informative. Take care.